Hello, Nistas and Nistos. How are you today? Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. I'm Savings Fashionista, and over here we do mainly things fragrances, whether it's body or home. And today we are here to talk fragrances. I'm going to share with you the last two fragrance combinations or fragrances that I wore over the past couple weeks. I'm going to share those with you, and I'm going to give you a few life and health updates to kind of bring you guys all right nisa so as you guys know um i do fragrance content over here um mainly perfumes fragrance combinations and candles um and i do do hygiene empties here and there but i've been away for um about two weeks in the physical because um you guys i share it with you and those of you who have been around you've noticed that um I've had repeated laryngitis. So um, I did share with you that I was going to end up having to go to a specialist. And I went to the specialist. And upon um, observation at the specialist, I just, well, he discovered that I have had some lesions on my, um, the folds of my vocal cords, which was contributing, which um, is one of the contributing factors that could have been um causing the first case of laryngitis to not fully heal for whatever reason um but was causing the infection or the irritation it could be a combination of GERD which I do have GERD um it's just a very extreme case of acid reflux so I do have GERD as well as um severe sinuses and allergy issues so those are two of the main contributors to me getting these infections that affect my um vocal cords so long story short when he discovered the lesions of course whenever there's a growth on the body they want to go in as rapidly as they can to make sure that these growths are benign. So I had to have a um, surgical procedure called a laryngoscopy. Yeah, laryngoscopy. And that's where they go in um, through your mouth, I think. Yeah, I think they, yeah, they went in through my mouth because they had to put a mouth guard on me. Um, and they cut the lesions off to test to see if they are benign. So thank God they were benign. Um, I went to the doctor yesterday for a follow-up and there is still a little swelling. Um, initially, when I first got it done, I couldn't talk for like two days. And then after that, I was still very hoarse and very pitchy. And I've been put on vocal restrictions where I am told to like not talk so much, but only talk 15 minutes per hour. Now, how do you gauge that? Um, but it's easy because um, my job, the work that I do, I constantly have to use my voice all day, every day. So I, you know, been put on medical leave, so I don't have to do that. But um, I'm here in my element. Um, he said that it was safe, you know, that I do a little content creating. I explained that to him. So let's just get on with the video. And um, I'm going to share with you my fragrance combination starting the week of June 9th and the week of June the 16th. So let's just get right into it. All right. So starting June 9th, which was on a Sunday, um, I started with one of my newly favorite um, fragrances. Um, this is a must that I tell you that I think could be a foundation to any fragrance combination or it stands alone. And I started off with the body oil. This is the perfume body oil and this is Missing Person. This is such a beautiful fragrance. This is musk. It's a very skin scent. It's close to skin. It has like ambroxan, the musk note, and it's just absolutely great. So much so till I turn my travel size into full size. So that was my fragrance combination that I wore on Sunday. Now moving on into Monday. Monday was one of those days where I was craving something that I have been using. I had been using a lot 
so much so till I um, completed the 10 mil of it and I decided to go ahead and get a full size bottle and that is Sunset Hour by Goldfield and Bank. So I now have it in full size. This is such summertime fun. It has notes of sandalwood. I have, think it has a little ginger, but that main fruity note is, I think that, is it? desert peach they gave it some type of name desert peach which makes sense to me because it doesn't have this juicy peachy watery type of peach smell but it does have an undertone of peach and it is really good you guys so finally got it in full size and i am completely enjoying it but what i did decide to do was to just add just a tap bit of sweetness to it so i added fame and this is a mango forward scent this is fame by paco Reban. i only had it in full size i mean in um what is this and um travel size and i don't know if I'll get it in full size because I have some other mango fragrances that are top on the wish list. But that was my fragrance combination for Monday. Now moving on into Tuesday, I started off with the Lavender Fine Fragrance Mist. This is such a great fine fragrance mist, you guys. If you layer this right, if you're a person that likes airy lavender fragrances and you layer it right you can wear this alone this lasts for me three to four hours if it's layered properly so i um wore this and it has fragrance notes of lavender jasmine and vanilla but i didn't stop there i didn't want that to be my primary fragrance so what i did was i added scent peace and you know this is a very airy spring summertime fragrance but for me, because it's such a love, I can wear this year round and it has notes of black currant. It has some grapefruit in it and it is just so good. And it does have a mild must note in it. So this is Centerpiece by Bun number nine. Now, Wednesday was the day of the procedure. You know, you're always instructed when you have to go into anesthesia. You have these special instructions. So I was not able to wear um, any fragrance on that day. And you guys, this, I was so nervous that day. This is not the first time that I've had to have a procedure where I have to be actually fully put to sleep in a, in a comfortable state. Uh, but I was really nervous this time. I don't know why. I think it's because it happened so quickly and I didn't really have a lot of time to think about it. But God brought me through. Um, everything was benign. Um, recovering and here we are so moving on into thursday yes i was at home um on complete vocal restrictions but i still wanted to smell good so what i wore on thursday is melon kiss and i decided to wear this because i really wanted to wear this in isolation so that i can get a feel of it and what i truly think about the fragrance this is a beautiful fragrance you guys and I need to wear it more before I give, you know, concrete thoughts about it. But this is a melon forward fragrance. The prominent notes that I currently smell are the melon as well as the coconut. But this is absolutely beautiful. This is a collaboration with um, Gabby Loves Perfume here on YouTube and Navitus. All right, you guys, so on Friday, I started off with um, Bouquet D'Angre by um, BDK, and this is such a pretty soft floral fragrance. This is so, 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 so good. I tell you, um, when I did, I think I did a haul on this already. Yeah, I think I've done a haul on this already. When I hauled it, I shared with you how it smells very similar to the Etendre by Chant. But this is absolutely beautiful, you guys. And for some reason, my brain is not as sharp as it was. It's not working the way that I wanted to, probably because it's been on rest mode. And I cannot tell you any of the fragrance notes. But if you are familiar with Chant by Chanel, the Etendre version. This is very similar, very beautiful fragrance, perfect for spring and summer. It is definitely a watery floral. So that was my fragrance for Friday. Now, moving on into Saturday. Saturday was another one of those days I was still in the house on um, heavy vocal restrictions. And I decided to wear something that I um, recently added to the collection. And this is Valve Freak by Byredo. So... You guys know I am a fan of Byredo. 
a true fan of Mojave Ghost, but this is a beautiful fragrance, you guys. I'm glad that I did add this to the collection. It is definitely one of those clean aesthetic type of fragrances. Um, this is one of those fragrances that when you put it on, it's not linear at all. You pick up some tardiness from some type of fruit that is in here. But as you wear the fragrance, it becomes more subtle and soft. Like I think all of Byredo fragrances are. They are definitely skin scents, in my opinion, but they are just so good. And this dries down to a woody, powdery musk, if that makes sense. And it is really balanced as far as unisex, in my opinion. I do think that the pheromones from a man probably would only make this better in my opinion because I do think our DNAs are different but the testosterone with this I think will be very good I'm going to get my husband to wear this because it's just something about the dry down that is just so good to me it is very attractive so again on Saturday my fragrance was Fall Die Freak by Byredo all right, so that concludes the week of June 9th, and we're going to move on into the week of June the 16th. All right, moving on into the week of the 16th, you guys. I know my voice sounds very monotone, but um, I can't stretch it too far, but I am really excited to be back, you guys. I am, I am, I am. So I hope that you can hear me clearly. So let's just get right into the week of the 16th. So starting on Sunday, you guys, um, I was up and moving. You know, I, it wasn't anything physical that broke my body down. But um, I did have a little side effects from the anesthesia, which I hate. Every time I get anesthesia, I get that nauseous feeling and I just, I, I don't enjoy it at all. But Sunday, um, I started off, I was just in a fruity mode, but I did not want it too tarty. So I came up with this combination. I started off with um, strawberry snowflakes and I did use the body cream. So instead of this mist, I had the body cream. So let's just pretend that this is the body cream. I have misplaced it. It has probably fallen somewhere and I don't see it. But I used the body cream to this. It has fragrance notes of juicy strawberry, whipped cream, and ice bergamot such a great fragrance it comes out in the winter but i do think that it is a across season fragrance and i added one of my summertime favorites this is the pink watermelon blast i'm not a big fan of watermelon fragrances especially in body care form from bath and body works it's just they're too artificial in my opinion but this one the balance of the salt just makes it really nice. I really like this one. It has fragrance notes of juicy pink watermelon, sugar, strawberry, blooms, and lemon zest, lime zest. So it's the lime that I really enjoy in this with the watermelon. Because the watermelon in here is extremely artificial. So I went in with the wood sage and sea salt. Yeah, I know a lot of people love to hate this one, but... I am a Jo Malone fan, and I like this fragrance. It smells so, 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 so good. My husband even likes this fragrance. He really enjoys this fragrance. Yeah, so I applied this early in the day, and later that evening, my husband was like, you smell so good. So this is one of my unpopular favorites from Jo Malone. A lot of people say that they cannot smell the fragrance, but right now as I'm smelling it, I get the woody, salty scent, and it is absolutely good. So if you have this in your collection, I just would recommend using it as a blender or a baser. I do think that this is one of those fragrances that attaches other fragrances, and it's just good for that. So that's what I wore on Sunday. Now moving on into Monday, I started off with the water ultra hydration body cream and i went in with the underwater oasis this is one of my favorites from bath and body works i think this came out some time ago and i did not pick up another one if i'm not mistaken but it has keynotes of sparkling bergamot jasmine bamboo meringue notes and blue musk one of my favorites 
and the fragrance that I used that day was the Kisa Pink, you guys. So this is a Paris Corner fragrance. It's considered to be one of the Arabian fragrances. Um, it is not at all gourmand. It is definitely a fragrance that makes me think of air fresh. And I'm just going to be completely honest. But I don't have a problem with smelling like this. It has notes of musk and some bergamots. It is definitely an aquatic um ozonic type of fragrance it has a little solarness to it but it's absolutely good and i really do enjoy wearing this so that was my fragrance combination for monday all right now moving on into tuesday um in a sample set that i got from a fragrance that i purchased from sarah baker um she had a sample set in there and this is one of the sample set this is called greek keys and yes, I have already added it to the wish list. This is definitely one of those citrus aquatic type of fragrances, in my opinion. It's more citrus than it is aquatic. And it's a little more male forwarding, in my opinion. But I love the way that it smells on me. And I just love the way that it smells, period. So that was my fragrance for Tuesday. Again, this is Greek Keys by Sarah Baker. Now moving on into Wednesday. I'll put a picture of it here. I did use the Brazil nut butter. It's supposed to be a dupe to the bun bun. It's good, but it's not as good in my opinion as the bun bun oil, but I do enjoy using it. So I use the Brazil nut um, body oil and I went in with um two fragrances that was just chef's kiss you guys I started off with the K.I. Lee Young Pistachio Gelato it has fragrance notes of pistachio gelato hazelnut sweet rum whipped cream marshmallow and cotton candy you guys see the dent now I do a lot of sharing but things that I truly truly enjoy and I'm already on the second or third bottle I'm a little reserved with that because I have a lot other for a lot of other fragrances that I can share. So this is all me. And this is the second bottle. This is the hundred mil. And I'm like, am I gonna make it through the summer? Because I've been wearing this and I really enjoy wearing it. But I used this and then I went in with this. You know, this is one of my first faves from the house of K.I. Lee. This is Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. It has fragrance notes of some Elang, Elang. It has some vanilla, of course, and it has this coconut. This smells so good. This is Sexy Tropical Vacation. This is so good. So pairing it with this was just absolutely good. So really enjoyed this fragrance combination on Wednesday. All right, so moving on into Thursday, I started off with Miss In Person. I still say that this is a great foundation. Musk, it just smells so good. This can be worn with just about any fragrance, in my opinion, if you are a musk lover. So I started off with a perfume body oil, and then I went in with this. I did not realize how musky this was. I think I just picked this up because it was an SAS item a couple um well i think last year and i didn't have it and i'm just like i don't even think i sampled this in the store but this is called lovely dreamer it has fragrance notes of fluffy musk clean woods white iris and fresh bergamot this you guys i hate that i don't have a backup this is so good this smells like sweet musk that's what it smells like it smells like musk with some sugar in it so good. And the fragrance that I paired it with is the Glossier U. Yes, the den is real. Really enjoy this fragrance. This is one of the few fragrances as far as perfumes that I will apply and wear to bed. You know, this is musk and iris. It is absolutely beautiful. It is also one of those skin scents, the fragrance that is supposed to attach and develop into our own personal fragrance and it has the perfect name you but this was very good on this particular thursday and i really enjoyed it this is another day i also got a compliment from my husband what i'm noticing about him he loved fragrances himself but i get the most compliments from him when i wear things that are skin scents 
things that probably develop into something very unique just you know based off my own body chemistry so um maybe that's just what he love as far as the scent profile for me but this was another day that he told me i smell really all right so moving on into friday as i think about it this was another day that he told me i smell really good so i think i had kind of like caught on like okay this is trending this is what he likes but these fragrance combinations are really good for hot weather so i started off with the glowing body set um, from Bath & Body Works. This was on clearance. You probably could still walk into a Bath & Body Works and find them in the back somewhere if they have not um, taken down um, all of their SAS products, which most stores, they don't. They just kind of push the tables to the side. So I started off with this and I did use the Fine Fragrance Mist as well. And I went in with the Molecules 01. Now, there was a method to this because the fragrance, the headliner, I just feel like um, I, I got to do some more sampling and wearing and testing this one because it doesn't get a whole lot of great reviews, but it has always been one of my favorites from the house. And I decided to add it to the collection. And the first time I tested it out, I'm just like, are the reviews true? Um, and I have had samples of it. And... It's this bottle, this whole bottle is just a little different from what I've experienced with samples. But I did this for a reason because this is a great barrier fragrance. This is another one of those fragrances. If you have a fragrance that does not perform to your expectations on you, I would recommend getting you something like a Wood Sage and Sea Salt from Joe Malone or a Molecules 01. These are um this right here has uh, E Super. This is just one synthetic note in this fragrance. And the way the fragrance is supposed to perform, it's supposed to only enhance your natural body fragrance. So um, I use this for that reason, just to see if this particular fragrance would perform a little better. And you guys, it actually did. So the fragrance that I wore, the headliner that I wore, is the Moonlight in Heaven by Killian. Now, you know, this is a mango forward fragrance, but it does have this note of grapefruit in it that makes it a little sour and off-putting on initial application, but it does develop into something really nice. I do think that this is more male forwarding. However, as a lady, if you do enjoy those male forwarding fragrances, I think you will enjoy this. But I think that it is so subtle and the way that it performs, you can easily add a sweeter mango fragrance to this. And I think that it will perform really well with um, that combination of layering as well. So again, that was my fragrance combination for Friday. Now moving on into Saturday this one was really really good and although i kind of like understand what hubby like i was hoping that i would have gotten some compliments from him on this one and he said nothing maybe it was just a bit much for him but um i started off with the glowing um like i said this is a citrus forward fragrance i started off with this in the shower and then i went over whole body with the TikTok oil. I just call it the TikTok oil. I got this from Aroma Concepts. The first one that I got, it was a fake. I got it off Amazon and it was not real, but I think this is the original one. So I started off with this one and this is a very um, fruity fragrance. It has the peaches and the mangoes, probably some gaba and whatever else they decide to put in here, but it's nice. I really do like this fragrance. It went viral on TikTok. And I decided to pair it with something that I recently added to the collection. Um, what went somewhere Saturday? I can't remember where it was. But I actually dressed up and put on clothes and I wanted it to smell really, really good. But I paired it with this Peaches Revenge. And this is by Sarah Baker. This is a peach forward fragrance. This is so good, you guys. It has this rum note that's so good so i smell the peaches of course and i smell that rum note and for some reason i'm getting like a 
pineapple or coconut or pina colada note in here. And I'm not really sure what the fragrance notes are, but that's the notes that come to mind when I smell this. But um, that was my fragrance cocktail for Saturday, you guys. So um, those were my fragrances that I wore over the past two weeks. If you have any questions about um, the information that I share, I am not a medical doctor. You've been with me on this laryngitis journey. I am not at all a medical doctor. But if you have some questions that I can ask if you ever have to experience that, I don't mind sharing my experience. And most um, importantly, um, if you have some issues going on, within your body, I always recommend getting a second opinion. And if there's some type of growth that is alarming, I just think early detection is the best. And I just think, my God, my God, for um, just allowing it to be aggravating enough for me to go and get um, some extensive observations and get a prognosis of what's going on and getting those things removed so um, i'm happy about that and i just want to thank you guys for coming back and showing up i greatly appreciate you and do not forget you yes you you are great bye, -bye.